Before this video even remotely starts, big shout out to Chinook, cause he's the one I got the method from in the screenshots for the quest methods. So shout out to him, sub to him, he's amazing, he's a god. Let's get into the video though. Do you wanna be able to hit level 40 without playing a single part game in 2K23? Well, I know a method that's gonna help y'all out and hit level 40 without playing any part games. Not only can you hit level 40 and get your mascot, let me put my mascot on actually. I got lucky and got the kings. Mmm, look at the kings. But you get a lot of VC as well, and you get a lot of boost. So look at my boost, bro. Oh, Holy crap. So I'm gonna show you how to do this method. It's very easy. It takes like 30 minutes of your time. And I'm trying not to cut out the video. I'm just speed up through parts like where I'm not talking and show y'all exactly how I hit 40 in what, five hours, I think. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop wasting time. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on my man's account and do the method on there. So that way you can see like from level five to I think I hit like level eight or something. So I do wanna say I started doing this at level 35 and it took me five hours. So if you start at level 20, it might take you like a day if you like really put in the effort in the work. But like I said, let's get into the video and see y'all on his account. Hey. All right, so I just loaded up 2K on my man's account. He doesn't have any players, really. These are his players, because they're all like 60 overalls. So I'm gonna be starting fresh new and show y'all exactly how to do everything. And off rip, we have to start with the build. So go ahead and make the build. Yep, make it a rebirth. Uh, make it a point guard. That's what I did. Right hand, left hand don't matter. Just remember, don't matter. And I made my build 6-7. So I did 6-7, lowest weight possible and the lowest wingspan possible. And I did that so that way I could have a high three ball in midi. And so this is just gonna make it a lot easier whenever you're playing the AIs in my court. You get all those extra shooting badges. And I upgraded my driving lap to like a 91, I think. Just like, it doesn't have to be exact numbers, just to the point to where like, okay, you can complete layups in my career. By the way, you're playing a rookie too. So I upgraded my pass accuracy and then I think I maxed out my rebounding and stuff and put some speed on me so I can't be too slow. And I think that was really about it. I probably just put the rest on like ball handle or something. So I'm just like messing with the stuff now. Boom, I'm gonna click X. I chose sharp and shot create and take. Of course you can change this later on. Finish and it should say like sharp shoot. Yeah, sharpshooter. There we go. So this build, it's just for doing the quest. Like this isn't no good build. It's just for doing these quests and for playing my career. So next, you just want to click start my career. It's gonna ask, do you want to skip it? Yep. And then it's gonna ask you for a college team. Doesn't matter. I didn't even know they had the Gators. Oh, I'll pick the Gators. Whatever. But for the NBA team, you do want to pick the Kings. And so I'm gonna go over later why you need to pick the Kings. So I clicked X. With the process later on in the video, it's gonna help picking the Kings, and you'll see why. So now we're just waiting. I'm not gonna cut anything out i'm gonna like speed through the video and if you do see a cut it's because like just irrelevant and so now we load into our player oh my god there's vibration on how do i turn that off Jeez, louise turn that off there we go all right so you're probably wondering like how does he have a mascot and he's level six he has glitch files on his account but he trust me he's a level six he has like three games played or like four games played i think let's see he has, he has four games played and he's one for three so trust me this is a brand new account look level 60 all that so the first thing you want to do is first thing i normally do i normally just like put on any extra badges but have them so he has four extra badges from doing sam's quest i just put them all on shooting then i'll just put the rest wherever that's probably gonna it's gonna help me whenever i'm playing my career so green machine mini magician volume shooter it doesn't really matter amped dead eye blinders i do put on shot creator or space creator guard up it, it doesn't really matter right and playmaking just put on the extra badges defense doesn't really matter boom they were done and then if you have accelerator i would put that on as well so just come over here boom and i like to put on a jump shot because whenever you're playing these ais in my court it does get pretty annoying like they be jumping at you and stuff so i do like to put on like jt thor base and i think it's page 22 yep here it is jt thor and then page 19 for oscar robinson release boom and then for the second release you just have to pick one that like fits so boom i just pick ignas brag brag D i don't know who that is so boom i'm gonna up the release speed make a name don't really matter right i'm gonna equip it so boom and that's it you could put on gabby williams dribble style if you have it but he don't even have it on his account so and same with curry free throw if you want to doesn't doesn't really matter kd or D, D book pull up this stuff doesn't matter it's just whenever you're playing them in my court it might help out so but the main setting you really want to mess with is in your like actual settings you want to come to settings and make sure you're playing on rookie in 12 minute quarters and this is just to maximize the amount of like time you're actually playing in the game and to make it as easy as possible too and i also like to turn off the action replays because it gets kind of annoying at times and so with that you're done with the first steps and now you just have to talk to sam and revis on this floor and then go up to the second floor and talk to robert and rodney so first i'm just going to go ahead and talk to sam boom get her quest and her first quest is do two flashy passes very easy then since his account has the fast shoes on him it makes it a lot easier too i'm gonna go ahead and collect this uh, under armor i have the fast shoes so i can get around a lot quicker now i'm gonna talk to this is revis right yeah revis and his is get two assists boom so now we're gonna go up to the elevator go and talk to the other two and boom, we loaded in. So now Robert's gonna be right here. He got the glasses on. He's a lockdown. He says to do two layups, very easy. 
you don't have to talk to her you can't even want to we're not doing her quest we're talking to rodney though so boom we talked to the big hawaiian guy and his quest is to get two rebounds very easy so boom we're done with talking to all of them i think he's doing the glitch too he might he might be doing the little method he's got it he's doing he's definitely doing it as well but now that we got all the quests we're gonna go to our quest tab and we should see one two three four quests so always make sure you see those four quests because sometimes they don't pop up so always make sure that they're there and so with that done and we got our badges on the settings right we can load into our first game so i'm just clicking Click play next game rookie yes and our first game is going to be against the trailblazers so let's just load into the game and so right now you see all these cut scenes and crap you can just skip through all of them doesn't really matter most of the time i'm just like watching naruto while playing this so but like i said i'm not going to skip through anything i'm just going to speed up the video and like if you see my lips talking it's because i'm talking to my friend in discord right now All right, the tip off is about to happen. So I'm just sim until I get into the game. I'm holding X, boom, we're in the game now. So you wanna follow this method I'm putting on the screen on how to maximize the amount of quests you're doing in a game. So off rip it says get two flashy passes, boom, that's one, uh, that, that wasn't one, that's two, I'm gonna do three just to be safe, three. And to do that, you just double tap circle. And then you have to score two layups, I'm just running the paint, it gave me a floater, it should go in, boom. It's very easy stuff. Oh, I wasn't looking. I could have got the rebound. Um, I hold triangle to tell the AI to cut. Boom, get my assist that way. That's one assist down. Now I just need one more assist and two rebounds and another layup and I'm done. And so once I'm done with all that stuff, I'm just gonna sim out and you'll, you'll see. So boom, I'm trying to force him to shoot, but he's not shooting. Normally, if you just sit back, Dame's gonna shoot the ball. So he'll throw it back to him. He normally shoots the ball. And most of the time I get the rebound. So that time I didn't get it. Now I just need one more assist. I'm telling Malik Monk to cut. Boom. He's probably going to make it if he throws it up. He didn't throw it up. He actually kicked it out, bro. They're not missing. I just need one more assist and these two rebounds and I'm done. Oh my God. He's actually making shots. <laughs> So realistically, this is probably what's gonna happen to you too. You might have perfect games where you get all your stuff done in a minute. But majority of the time, you're not going to. Hopefully I get this rebound. That's one rebound done. I'm just shoot a half court so I can get the ball back. And now Anthony Simmons is in and he definitely shoots the ball. I don't. He better shoot the ball. Boom, he shot the ball. Hopefully I get this board. Yo, he took it from me. Okay, this should be my rebound. Boom, we got it. Got my two points, or my I got my two layups, my two flashy passes, my two rebounds, and my two layups, so we're done. So I always just throw an extra flashy pass just to be safe, so that wasn't one, that wasn't one. Throw me the ball back. There we go, that's one. Once you're done, you can just sim out. So boom, sim the end, yep. And now you just wait till all this stuff is cleared up, then when it's all done, I'll show you what to do, so. All right, so now that we're done with all the cutscenes, we're done with the game, you see all the little endorsements or the little, uh, the, since we completed the quest, all the rewards are popping up at the bottom right. So that makes sure that we did them. Next, you just want to go to the neighborhood and then, and then talk to all the people we did the quest for. I'll be trying to speak too fast and I'll be stumbling over my words. All right, so we're into the park. So now we're going to go talk to Robert. Oh, uh, well, Rodney first. He's closest to us. Rodney. Boom. His second quest for us is to make two layups. So we'll do that. Then we're going to run over here and talk to Robert real quick. Boom. His second quest is make two dunks or four layups. Okay. So now we're done with those two. Let's make sure that they're actually there. Boom, boom. All right. Now let's go back to the silver floor and talk to Sam and Rebus. And Sam, Samantha, she's right here. Make two layups or two mid ranges. Okay. And then we're going to run over here and talk to Rebus. And it's going to be like layups as well. So it's going to say make two layups. Boom. So once again, you want to make sure, check that they're all there. Quest, one, two, three, four, they're all there. And so for the next game, you literally just have to make four layups. That's all you have to do. So we're going to load into our next game, play against the Clippers, and make four layups against them. And so I'll throw a picture on the screen of like the second quest, where the second game routine is literally make four layups. The routines that Chinook made are like, he made them perfectly to maximize the amount of time and, you know, effort you're putting into your game. Like he made it very efficient. That's the word. All right, they checked me in the game. Now we got the ball, so I'm just, just forced my way in the paint. Normally, no, normally I don't even do that. I'll pass it to the wing or Malik Monk up there. I'll cut, he'll throw it back to me, or I, I'm spamming X right now. They normally throw it to you if you cut in, so hold on, let's see. Cut in, throw, throw it to me, boom, I got an easy layup just like that. So now I just gotta do that three more times, or I can just run my way into the paint. However, you'll make the layups, so. Boom, that's my third layup down. 
This should be my fourth layup. Boom, four layups. And normally I wait until the other team inbounds the ball before I sim out. So boom, he inbounded the ball, sim out. I did my four layups. And now we'll just wait till all this is over with and I'll get back to y'all. All right, so once again, we're out of the game. Just wanna go right back to the neighborhood and talk to Sam, Revis, Rodney, and Robert again, so. All right, we're gonna go talk to Rodney first again. Rodney, make two shots well defend or get two shots well defended. I'll show you how to do that. And run over here, talk to Robert. Robert Ski, let's see what he want. He went three standstill middies or three layups or dunks, whatever. All right, guy. Run over to the escalate elevator and talk to Sam and them. All right, talk to Sammy. She wants two, five layups, five dunks, two three pointers, whatever. All right, and then we're gonna talk to Revis. And Revis says two flashy passes. So once again, do these quests, make sure that they're there. One, two, three, four. And so I'm gonna throw a picture up of the routines you have to do this game. And it's just gonna be five layups and two, what, flashy passes and two good shot contests. So for some reason it says Euro steps on that routine list. But if you look at these routines, it doesn't say Euro steps anywhere. So I don't I don't know why it says Euro steps. I think it's for a different method. So just make the five layups, two lay five layups, two good shot contests, and what, two flashy passes, and you're done. So play nice game. And so so since you picked the Kings, you're playing the Warriors as your third game. And so this is important because if Curry checks in, it's very easy to get good shot contest against him because he shoots anything. So we're just gonna load into this game, boom. And I'll see y'all see in the game. All right, so now we load into our game and hopefully Curry is checked in whenever we sim in. Please be checked in. Most of the time he is. This time he's not, Jordan pulls in. So we got unlucky, but off rep, just do our layup. So boom, run in the paint, one layup down. I hope this is counting because I've never done the Euro step method before. I've never not done the Euro steps before. And so normally Jordan pulls with the ball too. He didn't shoot at that time. But yeah, you just have to get two good shot contests, which is normally just jumping at the defender or having your hands up or getting a block or something. So that's not gonna count as one. I wasn't close to him. Dang, normally Curry gets like subbed in or something and it's really easy to get those good shot contests. That's my second layup. Now we just need three more layups and two flashy passes. So I'm just trying to bait the AI to throw it to Jordan Poole so I can like jump at him and get the contest. Ah, oh, see, I'm too far over. I'm not gonna be able to get that. Get my flashy passes out the way. That's one, that's two. I'll throw another one just to be safe. So that's three, boom, call for the ball. That's a layup right there. That's three layups. Now I just gotta hope to get these good shot contests. And there's really not a method. You just have to hope that you can like jump and they shoot the ball. All right, that's my last layup. Now we just have to pray to get the good shot contest. So there's no telling how long this is gonna take. Hopefully I can get it soon. So normally they'll take you out when you have two fouls. So I'm just gonna like intentionally foul right now. Normally they take you out. Let's see if they do. Okay, so they took me out. And hopefully when I come back in the game, um, Stephen Curry's in. So he's in, thank God. So that might be the method alone. Just get two fouls, wait till Curry comes in, and then try to do it. So once Aaron Fox makes a free throw, Curry's gonna be bringing the ball up. And I'm just gonna try baiting him to shoot, and majority of the time, he's gonna shoot the ball. This time, I'm not guarding him, though, because De'Aaron Fox is in the game. He didn't shoot the ball right there. He's gonna cut back out or something. He's gonna get the ball, and he's going to shoot. But they're hitting me with screens and everything. I'm, like, very unlucky because De'Aaron Fox is in the game. Okay, so I just made an and one layup. Hopefully, they take De'Aaron Fox out. They didn't take him out. Dang it. Okay, well, I'm guarding Curry this play. Oh, but he's not bringing the ball up the court. Like, we're just getting really unlucky right now. So, boom, that should be a good shot contest. And see, he shoots anything, got my first good shot contest. There you go. I'm just green it for him and green main. And he should be bringing the ball up the court. Like he's a point guard. I don't know why he's not bringing it up. They got Jordan Poole in. He's not even on this team anymore. So Curry's probably gonna shoot again. Shot again, right in my face. Good shot contest. Is he gonna say it? It should say it. It's still like showing all the badges from offense. I hope it's not glitched. Made shot, it's still, I'm just wait. Multiple defensive stops, excessive call for pass. It didn't say it. That wasn't a good shot contest last possession. This one should be. So Curry, he's probably gonna shoot the ball again. Oh, I'm too far back. Uh, I'm just unlucky. I'm gonna shoot to, or tell, just shoot the ball. Can they, can they score? Score the ball, boom. For some reason, Curry, he's just not bringing the ball up. Here we go. He's finally bringing the ball up and he shoots anything. So you just bait him to shoot and they call the timeout. Oh my God. These are things that you're gonna have to deal with as well. Like it's never gonna be a smooth process. I think the fastest I've ever gotten in and out of a Warriors game or like doing the third method was probably like two minutes. But that was just really lucky. Is that a good shot contest? It gave me a good shot contest anyways. We don't care. We're out this game. We got our two good shot contests, our five layups and two flashy passes. We are, oh, did I do the flashy passes? I'm gonna make sure once again, I did those flashy passes. So I'm just call for the ball. Boom, that's one, that's two. I'm just throw like a couple more just to be sure. 
that wasn't one that's that, that that's more than enough send them to end we got our stuff it should be done and like i said this is my first time never doing never doing this method without doing euro steps but it should work all right so i think it counted those layups yep it counted those layups and so now we just go and talk to sam we don't have to talk to revis and robert i think it's gonna spawn me in where they're at like on the platinum floor yeah it's gonna spawn me up here but they they don't have anything to talk to us about so we're just gonna go straight down to sam boom sam wants to talk to us real quick and sam's mission or her quest is literally complete any game so what you're gonna do you're just gonna go to my court and whenever you play these ais in 1v1 it counts towards that completed any game so you're really killing like two birds with one stone so now we just play rodney rodney robert and then once we complete those two sam and revis are gonna unlock so start this game up and rodney he doesn't shoot the ball he's like a post score but he's terrible normally i tell you this dude doesn't make a single shot so you can shoot his little oh he's he's, he's getting he's, he's out of body right now i'm not gonna lie i can't tell you a time he's even even score more than four points on me so <laughs> this is crazy here we go he shoots his little terrible post fades we get the ball and all i'm gonna do is just flick down on my stick so i get a little step back animation and then just shoot the ball green should go in boom just like that and so then normally i just shoot off rip he passed me the ball i should go in i missed it i got the rebound layup you just gotta beat them it's very easy to beat them green there we go and so sometimes they like really start like jumping at you and that's when shot creating take comes into play because you can just do the little hop step break them wide open three you're not gonna miss it so i'll just get back to you whenever i'm done with this game and show you how to beat robert all right so we just beat robert or no we beat rodney and so now we're about to play robert and so as you've seen it says ship ship shape for sam and ship shape okay we did sam's quest and we did reeves's quest so now we can play robert reeves and sam and once we're done with all these games we're just gonna go talk to them so i'm gonna play these games play robert right now robert is very annoying he's like a two-way slasher so he's he has lock take and he has contact dunks so he'd be trying to dunk on you and just shoot middies just be cautious of that it's not hard to beat him though and boom just like that we got robert's game out the way now we just have to play sam and revis and do the exact same thing so as you've seen i'm just doing the step backs little hop jumper shots whatever just beat these dudes they're not hard to beat so i'm gonna just speed through all this and get back to y'all when i'm done all right and this is the last shot to beat sam boom i think i just made a white too all right so we beat sam we're done with all the games we're done with all the quests now we just have to go and talk to everybody and then collect the rewards so first we're gonna go to the platinum deck talk to rodney rodney and robert so talk to robert he's gonna give us what spun oh no he gave us takeover suppressor boom if you didn't have that before you have it now rodney's gonna give us one so what does he give us he gives us takeover to de decelerator sucks in this game it doesn't matter accelerator is the best one then we're gonna run over here talk to sam and revis talk to sam boom she's gonna give you accelerator if you didn't already have it and then finally we're gonna talk to revis who gives us sponge right boom all right so now that we talked to everyone we're done all we have to do now is talk to pipple right here and we'll see our level go up so right now we're level six let's see we're at okay i didn't even claim it level six and we're at 28 percent to level seven okay and so vc i didn't i should have showed the vc at the start i think i had like 1k i had i had like 1.2k so we went up 3000 vc with the health i think oh look we already have extra gatorades so that's amazing and and once again, you have like all the takeovers, right? Or the, the takeover boost, right? What's, what's it called? Oh, the, the perks. So we unlock we unlock some of them, not all of them, but Accelerator is the best. So right now I'm going to talk to Pippa and we're gonna see our level go from six. It should either go up to seven. Actually, I don't know how high it's gonna go up to. Cause when I started this, I was level 35 and I was getting 30% a game. So I really don't know what level I'm gonna go up to when I talk to her, but talk to her, boom. She's gonna give us, or we're gonna collect all our rewards at the bottom. And so let's go back into our boost, see if it gave us any more boost it didn't give us any more boost normally when i click takeover and then back out it normally updates my level so let's see where we're at and we're 70 percent to level eight now so we almost went up two full levels that's that's pretty good so if we do this again we'll probably be at like level 10 or like close to level 10 and you just got to keep doing this over and over and over again and you can just easily hit level 40 so i'm not gonna lie how many days do we have left we have two days left it's possible to hit level 40 from doing this as of like in season seven it's possible if you really want to hit it i just wait till next season because i doubt they're gonna patch this because i'm not gonna lie it took me it took me like six hours to get from 35 to 40 so but as you see i didn't have to play a single part game it still says level six right now normally if i go to like deuces or something it updates so let's see is it gonna update to level seven 
level seven. And like I said, we're at what, 80%, 70%, 70% to level eight. So that's a little method. And so it might not seem like much right now, but this is a 30 minute method to go up two levels. So you don't have to rely on anybody. You get dumb VC for, I, I got a hundred K for doing this. You get dumb VC, dumb boost for doing this. And I got a mascot. So I'm gonna hop back on my main account and finish my intro there. My outro, outro, what am I saying? Outro. All right, so I'm back on my main account. And yeah, that's how you do this little method, man. So it does take time. It's very easy as you've seen. And you can just be pulling up Netflix or talk to your friends while you're doing this and it makes the whole process go by a lot faster but i'm definitely doing this next season if they don't patch it and i you're probably not gonna get banned for doing this either but yeah that does it for the video if you like this don't forget to drop a like subscribe and it's me boy gp3 i'm out y'all peace